Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am so glad you're here today because today is Motivational Monday. If you're new here, hello, hello. I would love it if you subscribed and join in on the fun. I am really excited to share this video with you because it's been something that I've been wanting to really do and express to you. Ways that we can motivate ourselves to get up and get moving, even if it's in the middle of the day. Um, I have had so many of you reach out to me and say, Kimmy, how do I get going when I just don't have it in me? I'm not motivated. I also suffer from anxiety and it's hard to get going. And so I wanted to share with you my motivational toolkit. Okay, these are just things that I tuck away to help me get motivated when I need it. Filming my journey and filming my life was one way that helps me be motivated. You motivate me, so thank you very much. Number one is my aprons. Oh yes, I love aprons. I love the idea of aprons as long as I can remember. I went to Target and I got my first apron. I knew it would motivate me. It was the weirdest thing. I, I like I felt driven to it. I saw it hanging there. I need that. I need that. And I, it reminded me of my grandmother and I was like, okay, I need this apron. So I went home and I did not realize <laughs> the impact that it would have on me. It was huge, you guys. Like really, really, really huge. It really changed everything for me. I put on the apron and I felt like I had like 20, I don't know, I don't like coffee, but I'm guessing like 20 cups of coffee or it felt like I just woke up and I was motivated to do all the things. Seriously, all the things. I noticed that I was outside in the yard. I was doing things in the house. When the apron was on, it was like, poof, I got this and I'm gonna get going. So for me, the biggest thing in my toolkit is my apron and I get asked a lot how many aprons do I have I think we're in the 50s a lot of them I have bought but a lot of them were gifts from you guys and I love them so much so thank you thank you okay the next tool in my kit is make your bed I have said this so much over the years but making your bed it's like for me it charges me it's like I plugged in my phone right I, I put the battery in and it's charging me because I noticed that when I would get up and make the bed and it looked good every time I would walk by my room and see that it just kind of motivated me to go clean or tidy or just get moving because you're not gonna crawl back into your bed when you see it all nicely made when you see your bed you know in the morning all jumbled at least for me, I have the urge to just climb right back in. Um, but I don't, but even the days that I don't make my bed, I notice that I'm not very productive. I'm kind of sluggish. There have been studies on this actually and how making your bed actually does motivate you, triggers things in your brain, and you feel like you can just keep going. And and when you see how nice that is, you want that, that peaceful, nice feeling to kind of linger out through the rest of your home. So make your bed open the blinds. This helps me wake up. I used to say that I wasn't a morning person, but I come to realize that that's not true. I like the mornings. I feel like I could get a lot done and then I look at the clock, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's only 10.30 in the morning and look at everything that I accomplished. That's amazing. So I do like the mornings. So I learned, I don't even know where I heard this from, but it hit me. I do not wake up well. <laughs> So I am a morning person, but I don't wake up well. And I'm gonna have a whole other video on that for you. So open the blinds, get the sun in, maybe open your windows if it's not winter and get that air flowing. For me, that is huge. Get that sunlight in and that vitamin D is so good for you. So get it in, get it in. Freshen yourself up. You know, if you're not a big makeup gal, that's fine. But look in the mirror, put some lotion on your face, brush your hair. This will help motivate you. Even if you just tidy up your bun, um, that helps motivate me, wakes me up, gets me going. Get dressed. Because when you're getting out into the workplace, you're in your, either your uniform, which is motivating. My uniform is my apron. Oh, I'm a sweatpants girl. Hoodie, sweatpants girl, all the way. There's something about getting and fully getting dressed that motivates me. So um, there's been a shift in me that I have been getting dressed a lot more lately um, and not just hanging out course they're gonna mold the lawn the HOA is here to mow the lawn you're killing me 
Here's a huge, huge tip that I have in my motivational toolkit is background noise. Now, I don't know if this is because I have ADHD. Well, it's probably a huge factor of why. Um, I like background noise, um, music, movie or a TV show that I know so well that I can have in the background that I could listen to. But the biggest motivator for me is audiobooks. I love audiobooks and my favorite thing is Audible because I could just dive into a project not even realize what's going on. I'm sinking into the story that I'm listening to. My, I'm imagining what the story looks like in my mind and I'm just in my project and it just makes it go smoother and faster and I don't have so much anxiety over the project that I'm doing and this is huge for me and my anxiety. Audible helps you listen to more books by letting you switch seamlessly between devices, picking up exactly where you left off. So whether you start off on your phone listening and then switch to your tablet, you never lose your spot. Audible members get a credit every month, good for any audiobook in their store, regardless of the price. The best part is the books are yours to keep. Audible is offering you, my friends, a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. Just go to audible.com apron and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs. Download a title for free and start listening. Or text apron to 500-500. I have been learning a lot lately of the kind of person that I want to be, who I am, who I who I am to my friends, what I have to contribute as a woman, as a mother, and as a friend. So what I'm listening to right now is called Better Together because you're not meant to mom alone. This is from Jill Savage and Anne McLean. I am really enjoying listening to this because I honestly believe that I have become the person that I am, the mom that I am, the wife that I am you know, by the influences that are around me, the women that I associate with and have in my life. And this book does a really great job of talking about how um, we have seasons with certain friends and how it's okay to let some people out of your life, not in a harsh way, but it's okay that some people have come and gone. What did you take from them and what did you learn from it and how to be a friend and how to create mom friends and create mom friends as you get older and you don't have little kids anymore and who these women are to you and mean to you. And I really, really am enjoying listening to this. It's also teaching me the kind of friend that I want to continue to be and want to be and what I have to contribute also to the women around me. It's really good, it's a good listen. Another tool to put in your motivational toolkit is to make a list. I am big, big on lists. I love my planner and I have lists in my planner, but when you're working on something and you're, or your week is big or you have something at the office and you're just like, oh, there's so much to do and I just don't feel motivated to do it. Um, what I like to do is take a piece of paper and write my to-do list. Look at this, guys, this is big. Okay, and I need motivated to get all this done. I subcategorize this, okay, here's my house, here she's in her apron, here's my kids, and here's Derek and I. And so I broke it all down in categories so I could see it better. So that way when I go throughout my day, I could block my time. And you don't have to mark everything off your list, but it's motivating when you get to check something off. Okay, the next tool in my motivational toolkit is to have a power hour, take one hour, and you make the most of that hour. So if you're at work and you're working on a project or you've got a deadline or something's going on, but you have all these other responsibilities to do, take the one hour and only focus on that. Shut everything out and just hit it. Set a timer. This is so motivating. You're in competition, but you're in competition with yourself. So set your timer and then see if you can accomplish and beat the clock. It is so motivating. It motivates my kids and it motivates me. All right, this next one I have to say is my biggest tool for your motivational toolkit. <laughs> Invite people over. Oh yeah. <laughs> you wanna see you fly off your seat and get cleaning and get moving is invite people over, have a party, invite people over for dinner or for lunch. You are gonna cruise so fast. That is so motivating. There have been times when I've been on a family text and they're like, family dinner on Sunday. And I'm like, hey, let's have it at my house because I know that I'm gonna bust my hump to get the house to where I want it to be. I don't know, it's a huge motivator and it gets me up and it gets me moving. My last tool that I have in my motivational toolkit is to reward yourself. We all need that little something that gets us moving, right? Either if it's with a treat or a drink, you're gonna go buy yourself a new outfit, whatever it is, you need to reward yourself and you need to pat yourself on the back and say, good job. It is motivating, it gets you going. We don't 
reward ourselves and say good job I did a really good job yes there's a lot of other areas I need to work on yes there's you know there's areas of the home or work that are not done but look what I did do and I am so proud of it I think we don't celebrate our our small successes enough so celebrate okay that's it that's my motivational toolkit i hope it helped you okay down below in the comments please leave what are your tools that you have in your motivational toolkit i would love to know because believe me i lose my funk so easily very 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 easily um i have anxiety and it seriously can knock me out for a day or two after i have an episode of it it's bad and so i'm very tired my body is drained and it's hard to get motivated these are the things that I do to help me, and I hope they help you. I hope you found this motivating. Um, maybe there's a tip in there that can help you or a friend or someone that you love that you can pass along. But again, I would love to learn from you what motivates you. Please leave them down below. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I also like to thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. If you like this video, give it a great big thumbs up. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you soon. Bye. I am surrounded by lawnmowers in the front of the house, in the back of the house. This is happening and we're going to go with it. And the compressor on my refrigerator is loud. Yep. So, set your timer and see if you can... Oh my gosh, this is not happening. I can't make this step up. <laughs>